nice, wasn't it, that? Eh? I do. There's nothing I like better than a christening. You like? Do you like? Son, look at me. Do you like a christening? Eh? I love a christening. Do you, son, do you ring anger? Look at me. Do you look at Charlie? Do you ring anger when you were christened? Eh? Of course, we all know this lad as Arthur Worsley. Got his real name is Arthur Glastit Worsley. That's his real name. The vicar called his knee on the font. <laughs> And he was on a doorstep in a little basket. He was on a doorstep as a child for two days. And nobody took him, did they, son? Nobody took you. So his father and mother opened the front door and took him in again. <laughs> Just look at him, eh? eh? High-speed gas. <laughs> White strength. <laughs> Last week at this time we had Charlie Drake, the worker. This week, the shirker. <laughs> And you know what? People write into me and they say, why doesn't, why doesn't, why doesn't he say something? They say, why doesn't he say something? Never says anything, does he? Never says, he's in another world, in another world. And if he did open his mouth, you wouldn't understand him. <laughs> he wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell talk from mutter. <laughs> Would they, son? <laughs> they're getting that one, slowly, they're getting it. <laughs> he's making a lot of money, though, with song. So he's a songwriter and they're all in the charts. Every song he's written, aren't they, son? In the charts, aren't they? All in the charts, his song. As a matter of fact, when he was coming in here today in the studio, the director, Mr. Dickie Lehman, saw him and he's made a, he's made a song, look, haven't you? Out of what he said. Here it comes again. <laughs> and he made another song, look, about the night before he was born. Eagle destruction. <laughs> He's made one up about you, lady, in the, in the third row. The one that's fidgeting. <laughs> if you've got to go, go now. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about the illusion? Tonight, he was going to do something different tonight. He was going to do an illusion with pigeons. You've probably seen it done before with six or seven pigeons that come from nowhere. He was going to use 30, weren't you, son? 30 pigeons. And he had them at rehearsals today. They were all concealed underneath his clothing, 30 of them. And somebody, some fool, fired a gun, he fired a gun. It took us three hours to get him off the roof, didn't it? <laughs> you naughty boy, who's a naughty, who's a naughty little boy? <laughs> Who went to the Salvation Army and said, do you save naughty girls? And when they said, you do, you said, what do you say? Save one from the young London. <laughs> went on his honeymoon, shall I tell him about your honeymoon, son? Eh? What happened on the first night of your honeymoon? Son, look at me, what happened? Eh? What happened at Brighton? When you married the girl from Wigan, what happened? When she said, Oh, she said, I'm so cold, I'm so cold. And you got up, didn't you? Put the eider down on the bed, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes later, she said, I'm still cold. So he got up again, put his overcoat on the bed, didn't you? Six minutes later, she said, I'm still cold, she said. He said, there's nothing else to put on the bed. That's what you said, isn't it? And she said, she said, when I was cold at home, she said, my mother used to cuddle me. And he said, if you think I'm getting up at four o'clock in the morning, going all the way to Wigan for your mother, you've got another thing to me. <laughs> well, hey, yeah. hey, it's time for the train. It's time for the... You're not going to stick me in there, right? Don't go... Listen, whatever you do, why do I always have to go in here? Hey, go easy with the leg. This is the Arthur Haynes show. Not double your dummy. <laughs> and be careful with the lid. You're not gonna, are you gonna close the lid? Be careful, son. You caught me nose in Glasgow. <laughs> and you caught me toe in Southampton. And what happened in Manchester? I'm not saying it. Let me 